For the Ramirez and Remolina families, the pain is unbearable. Four of their relatives were killed last week during a military operation ordered by the Venezuelan government. Security forces accused them of being part of a Colombian rebel group and said they died in combat. But neighbors and family members insist they were innocent, taken from their homes and executed. I was looking out for my brothers. I saw them in their house and gestured to them, then ran back into my home because soldiers were threatening people. That's when I heard an armored vehicle stopping in front of their house. Neighbors saw how soldiers took them away, so she ran out again. I told the other soldiers, they took my family. They said go home, that I didn't need to worry, that they were taking them to the battalion for questioning before returning them home. Instead, they reappeared in pictures circulating on social networks, dead, some dressed in fatigues, with pistols or a grenade at the side of their body. Anybody who knows my sister-in-law will tell you she hated boots. She never wore boots like those. You don't need to be a forensic expert to know that this was staged. Many of the almost 5,000 refugees who fled the clashes share similar stories, accusing the military of illegal detentions as well as looting and burning homes. Under pressure, Venezuela's defense minister Vladimir Padrino said the armed forces were obliged to defend the country from irregular groups, but added that human rights needed to be respected and that the events at the border would be investigated. But Venezuela's former prosecutor general, now an opposer of President Nicolás Maduro, told Al Jazeera that will likely not be the case. Oi. There is no type of accountability today in Venezuela, nor any institution that investigates. Look at how the prosecutor's office, controlled by the usurpers, took five days before announcing they were going to investigate the events at the border. Such serious facts should be investigated immediately. Like countless other Colombians from this border region, the Ramirez had fled to Venezuela over a decade ago at the height of the conflict between guerrillas and state forces in the country. But now the same kind of violence seems to have reached them on the other side of the border. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera Rauquita.